Hi, this is John Sarver. Uh, I'm doing a Michigan Solar uh, uh, Solar's uh, story presentation tonight. Uh, this is the first in a series of weekly presentations by Michigan solar owners. We're going to talk about their experiences with solar energy. Uh, this program is, is a series of workshops is sponsored by the Great Lakes Renewable Energy Association in the Michigan Solar Users Network. I'm gonna talk for about 20 minutes about my experience with solar energy. And uh, if anyone has any questions, feel free to email me at johnsarver3 at gmail.com. Why solar energy? Well, it's a good investment. Uh, there has been research done that shows basically, uh, actually thousands of homes in eight states that solar energy does add value to a home. And, uh, you know, it's definitely a good investment. It's a lot better than having your money in, a, in an account in your bank or credit union. Uh, one thing that recently happened is that there are no property tax increases now when you buy a solar energy system. Last year, the uh, state legislature passed uh, legislation that basically exempts solar power systems from increases in property tax assessments. Now what happens though is while the first buyer wouldn't be uh, paying any extra property taxes because the solar power system does add value to the home, uh, that would be reflected uh, logically in the, in the sale price and that would be uh, you know, reflected basically in the uh, next property tax assessment. So it's a, it's, it's a, a pretty good system in that the, the first, uh, owner doesn't really pay any extra property taxes so it doesn't become a barrier to solar energy but the, uh, the local jurisdictions eventually do uh, benefit from the uh, the uh, investments in, in homes in their communities now uh, solar systems have low maintenance it's basically all electrical uh, the panels have uh, lifespans of 25 or more years 30 years and there is a climate emergency uh, this is a, uh, something that has become real apparent to almost everybody that we must do as much as we can. And on the list of anybody who is talking about trying to deal with the climate emergency, uh, renewable energy is at the top of the list. This is a slide to talk a little about the economics of a typical system. A typical residential system might be 4,000 watts or 4 kilowatts. You know, a, a good price for a, a solar electric system would be $3 per watt, uh, which means that, you know, you can get a, a, a system that probably provides 50, maybe 80% of your power for about $12,000. You, you uh, get a 26% federal tax credit, so actually you have a net cost of under $9,000. As you can see, I've estimated the energy savings here of 52 32 kilowatt hours per year, and a cost savings of $785. So the simple payback is 11 years. So it's a, it's a big investment. It's a good investment. Uh, you basically uh, have your panels pay for themselves in 11 years, and then you have free energy for another 15 to 20 years. Uh, and I need to point out that this is a, uh, a simple calculation. Uh, it's safe to assume that uh, utility rates are going to go over, up over time and so that uh, really the payback uh, will end up being better than the 11 years. Uh, I'm going to talk about my two rooftop systems. Uh, the first system I installed was uh, 10 years ago. It was a 1.26 kilowatt roof integrated system. I was participating in the Consumers Energy ERP program which was a feed-in tariff pilot that no longer exists, but uh, all my power from that system uh, basically is sold to the utility under a 12-year contract. And they, they gave me, because this is a pilot program, a very favorable price. So the system ended up uh, paying for itself in, in uh, nine years. Of course, uh, 
the cost of the system the 10 years ago was about three times what it is today. Uh, this past year, uh, I added to my existing system. This is a 2.17 kilowatt rooftop system. And so I'm in the consumer's energy net metering program. Let me talk a little about net metering. Uh, this is where if you have excess electricity that you're not using on site at your home, uh, you're able to put it on the electric grid. Uh, the utility will give you a bill credit for it. And then they basically sell it to your neighbor at the retail rate. Uh, now the system to participate in the program must be sized to your usage. This is not a program for you to become an independent power producer or a utility. It's basically a way for you to kind of smooth out your production and usage over the course of a year. Now also according to this program, you have to have a system that's 20 kilowatts or less in order to be able to get the bill credit at the retail rate. There is a provision for systems up to 150 kilowatts. This is really for commercial and institutional. And there you get the bill credit at the generation or wholesale rate. Now net metering is being phased out and is being replaced by a new distributed generation tariff, which is decided whenever a utility submits a uh, rate case. Uh, DT has already gone through a uh, major rate case and so they now have a new distributed generation tariff. Uh, unfortunately, it's about half the retail rate for the uh, excess power and the, and the bill credit. Consumers Energy has, does not have a new distributed generation tariff yet. They just filed their case with the Public Service Commission in late May, or late February, and uh, won't really have a decision until uh, late in the fall. Um, once this year, if you're a consumer's energy customer and you install a system, you can be grandfathered for 10 years in the existing net metering program and get the retail credit. Now, most of the systems are on-grid systems, uh, which means that you're already connected to the uh, utility grid. Uh, back in the, when we first got started uh, in this area, I uh, started in the energy office back in 1976. Uh, solar systems were typically, uh, well, of course, they're very expensive, but you, somebody had a, a cabin out in the woods and it was miles and miles uh, to connect to the electrical line. So really the economics, despite the cost of the solar system or the small wind system, were favorable to uh, uh, set up your uh, system off grid. And of course you needed batteries in order to store the power. But most systems now are on grid, and so you have a situation where you have an inverter that converts your DC power that's produced by your system, whether it's uh, wind or solar, and converts it into AC. And most of that power is used on site at your home, but like we talked about before, if there is excess power, uh, it's put on the grid and you get a bill credit. The first system I bought uh, 10 years ago was roof integrated. Uh, it was a 1.26 kilowatt probably crystalline system. They were 21 60 watt panels. I, I did have a pretty good site. I had a southern orientation. I had minimal shading at least at the time. One thing I didn't uh, count on was I had a, uh, to the right of this picture, a, a large Austrian pine tree that I thought was mature, but it kept growing. So now I have more shading issues. Um, and you know, mine uh, is, serves as roofing. And so as you can see from the pictures, it, it basically uh, sits right on the roof uh, and substitutes for the shingles. Now, when I had this installed by Luma Resources 10 years ago, they, they also are a roofing company and my shingles were over 20 years old. So I basically had them re-roof my house and also uh, put in the shingles at the same time. Uh, individuals always ask about, gee, you know, if I put in a solar system, what if I have to replace my shingles in 10 years? Well, you do hire somebody in order to take your system off the roof and then put it back on after the re-roofing is done and then reconnect the system. And I, I asked a couple of installers what they would charge. Um, and one said about $500, one said about a thousand and then who knows. Uh, this past year, I put in a more traditional rooftop system, which basically uh, is on top of the shingles. Uh, so this is a 2.17 kilowatt system. 
there are seven 310 watt panels and it's a modern crystalline system. As you can see by the picture to the left, uh, you could see my old system, uh, which is the lighter blue. But then the, uh, the installer actually proposed 10 panels. I ended up going with seven panels. You can see uh, the picture to the right, the three panels that uh, kind of face toward the west. Let me talk a little about inverters. Uh, the inverter to the left is a central uh, string inverter uh, and that uh, serves my uh, first system. Um, all the power from the, uh, uh, that first system goes into the inverter. It's converted from DC to AC. Uh, one of the disadvantages with this sort of inverter is that, uh, and I do have some shading now, is that the shading on any of the panels will affect the production of the other panels. Now with the new system, uh, I have microinverters, uh, which kind of take care of that problem. There's a microinverter for every two panels. And so now if any of the panels are shaded, uh, the, the microinverters, which are converting DC to AC right at the panel, uh, basically the production is not affected if another panel is shaded. As you can see in the, uh, uh, the picture, the, the diagram to the right, uh, there's a, in the middle, there's a little box there with a, a little antenna. Uh, that receives uh, signals from the uh, microinverters, and so you can get all the sorts of data you'd ever want about your panels. Uh, production by panel, production by hour, by day, by month. <coughs> Let's talk about a few resources now. There's a, a very a fairly user-friendly uh, program by the uh, National Renewable Energy Lab, lab called PV Watts, <clears throat> and you're able to kind of log into, just all you have to do is Google PV Watts, and it'll come right up. Basically, you can put in your street address, your, uh, and uh, then basically uh, they find the closest uh, uh, weather station, and you can also zoom in on your, uh, your roof or your backyard and you, you put down four dots and it basically draws your PV system, your solar electric system. And this is helpful because it can estimate how big a system you could have. In this case, it's a 2.3 kilowatt system. And as you can see, it will estimate for you uh, how much power will be produced in your location at your house month by month, and also how much you'll be saving. Now you can take this and then compare it to your uh, utility bill. I know the bill I get from Consumers Energy has a 12 month history. And so you can get a sense for, uh, you know, what percentage of your power uh, that you use on site would be uh, provided by this solar system. Uh, and of course you can do a rough estimate for cost because you can use the uh, $3 per watt. And so that would end up being a cost of about $7,000 for this system. Now I'm in the board of directors for the Great Lakes Renewable Energy Association, which is a statewide nonprofit that promotes renewable energy in Michigan. And we do have business members and we have a business directory. We have 26 solar installers. So if you're looking for a solar installer, you can go to our website, glrea.org, look under about and look under the business directory. Uh, we're also an advocate for state and local policies that uh, promote renewable energy. We have a monthly newsletter. And so if, you, if you'd like to join GLREA, I can, you can join online at glrea.org. Uh, we also facilitate the Michigan Solar Users Network, which is an informal network of solar owners and future solar owners. And uh, you can join that Facebook group. Uh, as you see, it's MI Solar Users. And it's just a great opportunity to ask questions, exchange information about solar power systems. Uh, also, we just, uh, Michigan Solar Users Network started up a solar energy advisors uh, uh, service program uh, free. Uh, we have three homeowners who have volunteered so far. Uh, they have their own solar systems. These are pictures down below there. And they're available to advise you by phone or email as you kind of look into solar energy and you may have a bunch of questions. 
and you know, uh, you, you, there's an opportunity for them to show off their solar system. If you're interested in the service, uh, just feel free to uh, send me an email at johnsarver3 at gmail.com. And then also, if you have any further questions, uh, feel free to send me a note. Well, thank you for uh, uh, listening to this presentation. Uh, and uh, go solar. <laughs>